Hello, welcome to our educational series on environmental education. Environmental education helps increase your awareness and understanding of the environment and the challenges it faces. In this episode, we will begin with the definition of the environment. This will help students understand the environment and interconnectedness of the subject. Then we will understand the foundation of this environmental education journey, the nature and scope of environmental problems and their consequences. Now, let us define the environment. The environment can be defined as the natural and physical surroundings in which organisms, including humans, exist and interact. The environment is our surroundings, and it includes air, water, land, and all living organisms including microorganisms and man-made things like roads, buildings, bridges, etc. Understanding the definition of environment is essential as it helps us recognize the intricate relationships between human activities and the natural world. According to the Environment Protection Act, 1986, which was enacted to implement the decisions of the UN Conference on Human Environment. Held in Stockholm in 1972, the definition of environment is Environment includes water, air and land and the interrelationship which exists among and between water, air and land, and human beings, other living creatures, plants, microorganism, and property. This definition covers all aspects of the natural environment and the interactions between them. It also includes the human-made environment such as buildings, roads, industries, etc. that affect the natural environment. The environment has four major components. Atmosphere The layer of gases surrounding the Earth Hydrosphere all water bodies, including oceans, rivers, lakes, and groundwater. Lithosphere The solid earth, including rocks, minerals, and soil. Biosphere The region where living organisms exist, including plants, animals, and microorganisms. Environmental problems encompass a wide range of challenges that impact our planet and its inhabitants. These problems arise due to various factors, including human activities, natural processes, and the interaction between the two. The major environmental problems include Climate change Pollution biodiversity loss, deforestation, and resource depletion. Global climate change is the long-term shifts in temperatures and weather patterns on Earth. It is mainly caused by human activities that increase the levels of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere, such as burning fossil fuels, clearing forests, and producing waste. Global climate change is a serious challenge that requires urgent and coordinated action from all countries and sectors of society. The United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change UNFCCC is the main international treaty that aims to stabilize greenhouse gas concentrations and prevent dangerous interference with the climate system. Environmental pollution is the contamination of the natural environment by substances or energies that harm living organisms or disrupt ecological processes. Environmental pollution can affect the air, water, soil, and climate of the planet. It can also cause noise and light disturbances that affect the well-being of humans and other living beings. The decline in the variety and abundance of species and ecosystems 
mainly due to habitat destruction, pollution, and climate change. Biodiversity loss is a decrease in biodiversity within a species, an ecosystem, a given geographic area, or Earth as a whole. It can lead to a breakdown in the functioning of the ecosystem where the decline has happened. Biodiversity loss is a global problem that requires urgent action from all sectors of society. There are many international agreements and initiatives that aim to prevent biodiversity loss and conserve wild areas, such as the UN Convention on Biological Diversity, the Sustainable Development Goals, and the One Health Approach. Deforestation this is the intentional clearing of forested land by humans for various purposes, such as agriculture, mining, and urban expansion. Deforestation has many negative impacts on the environment. Deforestation is a global problem that requires urgent action from all stakeholders, such as governments, corporations, communities, and individuals. The unsustainable extraction and consumption of natural resources, including minerals, fossil fuels, and freshwater, leading to depletion and long-term environmental impacts. Now, let us discuss the scope of environmental problems covering various dimensions. Number 1. On a global scale, you can see that many environmental problems go beyond national boundaries and require international cooperation for effective solutions. Number 2. Environmental problems are of interdisciplinary nature. We require knowledge from multiple disciplines, including science, economics, policy, and social sciences. And number 3. Environmental problems have a long-term impact. So, we need to understand the long-term consequences for future generations, necessitating sustainable practices and forward-thinking solutions. So, why should we understand and address environmental issues? Firstly, to sustain human well-being. A healthy environment is vital for our well-being, health, and quality of life. Secondly, to preserve ecosystems and biodiversity. Protecting the environment ensures the survival of diverse species and ecosystem services. Thirdly, to secure a sustainable future. By addressing environmental problems, we can create a sustainable future for present and future generations. Now, let us conclude today's topic. By exploring the nature and scope of environmental problems and understanding the definition of the environment, students gain a solid foundation for further environmental education. With the knowledge of the complexity of environmental issues, we need to take collective efforts to address environmental problems and promote sustainable practices. Hope! You will take action in your daily lives, explore potential solutions, and engage in critical thinking. This understanding will empower you to become active participants in addressing environmental challenges at the local national and global levels we hope now you can answer some simple but important questions like define the environment describe the nature of environmental issues explain the key environmental problems and so on thank you for watching we look forward to seeing you in the next episode in our next episode We'll discuss the importance of environmental education. Thank you.